Hello everyone, I'm Catherine with Catherine'sPlates.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make classic French toast. Now, French toast is simple. You can use any type of bread that you have, and then it has an egg custard that we're going to make. We're going to sweeten it, and then all you have to do is fry them up. Grab your large frying pan or your griddle, and let's put this one together. The first thing we're going to do is make the egg-based custard so that we can dunk our bread into it. We're going to crack six eggs. I am using a pie plate because it's thin, narrow, and it'll be good to put the bread in and get it nice and soaked. All right, just crack the six eggs. We're going to pour in three quarters cup of milk. If you want to make it creamy, you can use half and half or heavy whipping cream, but you can use regular milk. We're going to add that. We're going to start flavoring. I've got brown sugar or you can use white granulated sugar or you can even use honey. I'm going to go in with one tablespoon. We're going to go in with one teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We're going to give a pinch of salt to kind of offset all of those flavors. A pinch of salt is about eighth of a teaspoon. That's mine anyway. <laughs> We're just going to beat this all together. I'm going to use a fork or you can use a whisk and start breaking up the yolks. Give it some time. I don't mean the seasoning. <laughs> time. You want it whisked up really well. It smells good. Love that cinnamon in there. Yeah, that looks really good. We're going to set this off to the side. All right, let's talk about our bread really quickly. There's nothing wrong with using good old white bread, which is what I have right here. Now, while I was preparing the egg mixture, I just laid my bread out. That way it could get just a little bit drier so it can soak up that egg mixture. You can use brioche bread. You can use croissants. You can use thick Texas size bread if you want to do that. I grew up using bread like this, so that is perfectly fine. I've got eight pieces here, and it'll probably be more than that. <laughs> okay, if you were in my house right now, you would be smelling bacon. I have it in the oven cooking, so that way it's done when the French toast is. Let's take our bread, let's go to the back burner back there, and we're gonna start making our French toast. I've got my bread, I've got my egg mixture, some oil, butter, and we've got our narrow, thin frying pan. We're going to turn the burner onto a medium heat. I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. Now to keep the butter from browning, we're going to add just a little slurry of some oil, just a little bit. There we go. We want to get this to a sizzle stage. You don't want to start soaking your bread until you get to that sizzle stage. All right, I'm just going to whisk up my egg mixture a little bit, get that cinnamon all incorporated in there, because, you know, it kind of floats around or goes down to the bottom. You want everything incorporated. Oh, we got a nice sizzle right there. Take your piece of bread. You're going to dunk it in, give it a pat a few times, turn it over. You don't want to over-soak, because then it'll tear your bread. You don't want that. So just a quick in, out, drain off any excess egg, place it in your pan. Now don't move it. Take your piece of bread, place it into the egg mixture, pat it down, flip it over. Got to be quick with it. Take it out. We're just going to drain it just a little bit. Get on the excess egg off. Place it in your pan. Now you should see it sizzling down here on the bottom, and that's what you want. It'll take about two minutes. I would give a peek every so often around the one minute mark, the one and a half minute mark, and just check. You want it nice and golden brown on the bottom, 
before we flip it over. All right, we're going to start flipping it over. Once your French toast is cooked through and firm on both sides, like that, you're going to take it out and we're going to put it on a sheet pan. And then you're going to keep going. Add some additional butter to your pan for each French toast. That's going to help it get nice and golden and keep it from sticking. Now you can pop your French toast that's on a sheet pan in your oven. I would preheat it to 275 degrees. That will keep them nice and warm as you're making your French toast. I like some butter on mine. I'm going to go in with some syrup, powdered sugar. Classic French toast. Okay, let's go in for a bite. Oh. Syrup. Mm. Mm. What a delicious breakfast for sure. <laughs> We're not going to forget the bacon. I got two delicious pieces of bacon there. The saltiness with the sweetness of the French toast go together. What a pairing. All right, what do y'all think of my original classic French toast? Make sure y'all give me a thumbs up on it. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. My other ones are in the oven at 275 degrees, keeping warm so that everyone can have warm French toast this morning. I'll see y'all on the next episode.